video today. Uh, insulated that, took the covers off. <coughs> what I'm going to do is replace the wood on top of there with a coating on top. I'm going to paint all that, straighten the, wood, the door out as best I can because it was dinted everywhere. Me and my dad pushed all that out yesterday. Then we're going to put that back up there but with carpet over it. Uh, well, it's a lovely day. Crack on with some of these snow in the into it with a grinder, got all the surface rust off and I'll put a primer on it before I paint it uh, and I'll just what I'll do now is put the second coat onto this base now as well. did last time with the uh, when I was doing the side doors and everything. So, uh, so what I'm going to do first is uh, lay some carpet out. Give myself a nice border again. Hmm? Carpet's glued onto that and I've just pressed it down because it's folded underneath the seams here so pushed it down till that goes off. Um, <clears throat> next thing I'm doing, I'll put some tape on there look, to mark where the wood is. So I'm just going to put a little bit of insulation uh, against there now, only a little bit. Put it on in little blocks there like that and what that will do is it will act as a soundproof, act as a mild insulation but also it will keep the board taut as well because it'll be pushing against it and it'll be pushing back at the board as well when it's fitted. Got it. Okay, well, 
these are the um, hinges I put going on, extra hinges. Because the uh, factory fitted ones are gone. Lots of screwings. say that frustrated housewives sit on top of washing machines to get their thrills. Bored DIY enthusiasts use jigsaws and lean against pieces of wood. <coughs> Moving swiftly on. Okay. I'll go match that up to the roof now. There's a light configuration that goes in the centre console, you know, above the driver. Um, and I fancied using it. So I've done a little template, marked it, cut a hole. And I'm going to uh, cut that out now. That's the thing with it, it's constant adjustment. using the contact adhesive again.
okay, they're a little bit difficult to see, but uh, <coughs> put the carpet on, push her into position, line these up here now. And, I've got my wooden supports here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's Let's put into position now, see? See, see? <coughs> Sorry about the snorting, it's that time of year. Everyone's got it. Oh! We know that works. Alright. Did you hear that? And that secures it to that piece of wood. I'll do the same this side. A little bit fiddly. There you go. Let's cut over there. Okay, I've made my little hole on the roof there. And then we'll just slot down. Like so. Now that, I don't think that's a very nice fit at all. what happens when you get ah, I think I know what we've got there so we need to make that slightly bigger then and then we can push that down okay I can do that oh god it's bigger still Okay. And that's how that goes on like that. Just slow it up. Mm. Drill the hole. That's the sleeve. That's the aerial. Before they go in, the edge there, I think. Loosen that. Something like that. That's it attached now. What I've done there is scored the paint so it earths and then put that on with a spring washer and I added another washer of my own. I had to find a nut because I dropped it and then just do a last minute check it's okay on there 
<clears throat> and then just nip it up. What I've done here looks like bare metal. I've uh, cut some hessian, spray glued onto the metal surface. Done it so I'm going to double skin it, okay? Fed that in. That's all clinging to the metal work now. All the way down, like that, ran my finger all the way. <coughs> Obviously, door wide open so I'm not breathing in this crap. And then, I'm respraying the, the inside of the hair seeing now. Just push that up to there. See look, dab it in. Tack straight away. This is just an experiment. I just wanted to see if this will work or how it'll look. So spray the inside. Like so. And then just gonna fold that up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then push it into that seam. Again, look, just gently. Because it's a bit fiddly. So let's get the knife on and go see if it's any better than that. <coughs> so let's have a look. See what this looks like now. I'll finish that up later. Back to coating this with carpet again. Um, this is uh, finishing off the ceiling. Uh, I'll show you in a minute when I've done this, but all I'm doing at the moment is just clamping and getting the carpet covering over. Stick that on that side. Do the same again. And I, want <clears throat> and I want to fit some uh, ply to here that are covering carpet like I have done with this piece. So obviously getting in here to measure and everything's awkward. <clears throat> you can use a lot of methods. I was going to use cardboard but I threw all my boxes away. So yeah, basically anyway, <clears throat> I had some of this left over. And this is uh, foam um, insulation, underlay, whatever you want to call it. But it was, uh, it was only really cheap. So from the guys at Carpet Right, bless them. So I pushed it into there, marked it, because you can score it with the scissors as well, and it leaves a nice mark. You can use cardboard, paper, whatever you want. And there, I have now got, so I'm just gonna take that edge down there, because it is still a bit proud, as they say. Cut my piece of wood now, got my template, put it into position, decided where I wanted it, how I wanted it, where I want the speaker in conjunction with everything. Like I've done in previous videos, I've cut the wood to the shape that I need, then spray glue over the side that's going to have the carpet, and then Give myself a nice little overlap, spray glue, 
clamped it down, you know, with the clamps and a plank across it to squeeze it down, left it for a good 10 minutes to go off, worked my way all the way around it, and then now I've got that and that's ready to fit in a section. So uh, I'll offer that up and then drill the first hole, okay? with the position I'll drill my first hole. Yeah, I think I've done that so that it's under there. That's it. Right. That's nice. All things are good when they're nice. Yeah. Right, I'm using a very small drill bit. Just give that a nice little heave out. so that when the screw goes in, that actually widens it. You know, it's just cosmetic. Second piece is done, carpeted, again same methods again, pinned down with glue. Using up my uh, laminate flooring, cut a little piece out of there, that up to there. I'll fud that up to there. All done. Not, not that. So now it's a case of just putting it into position. Um, I'll plug everything in ready first and then we'll get started. But she's all carpet covered now. Which is not too bad. That's, that's pretty damn sturdy. <clears throat> right, screws are in place, now I'm just putting some supporting ones in. look now you can see there's you look in the top of the cab now 
You can see that's got a nice finish to it. And a new carpet trim. And all along there. And there. get tidied up now as always uh, thank you very much for watching uh, the storms outside look at how the weather's changed from when I first started doing the van um, yeah subscribe hit the like button if you uh, and any suggestions you've got as well and I hope I've inspired some of you to do you know have a go at the camper van yourself and uh, come up with little different and innovative ideas of building things yourself you do get a massive satisfaction out of doing it when you've done it yourself but uh, yeah, I hope um, you have good success when you start your own camper van. Um, so thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Fade the music in slowly. Okay, that's about good now. And uh, again, see you next time. Another snagging video, another little job to do as we uh, get close to finishing. Okay. Bye. This is a message for all the people at Teeny Cymru who are watching. Um, and the boys, uh, obviously, hello Stephen, hello, it's James saying hello to you, okay, I'm glad you sat down watching it and I'm glad everyone's fed up of seeing it, and hello Johan, hello Joe, hello Craig, I'll say hello Tally but he'll be in his room, but anyway, bye Stephen, bye.